Hi everyone. So today I'm going to work on covering this Amazon box to make it into a nice tray for ephemera. I figured with getting all this Etsy shop stuff, I need to compensate a little somewhere here. So, haven't figured out where I'm going to stick my doilies yet. But I definitely have quite a few now, which is kind of nice. Because I love doilies. Alright. So I am going to use Artsy Stampers, one of her newest collections. And that is called, give me one second here, I gotta check on my phone. Tea Room Paper. I hope she likes this project, but I just, I love this piece right here. And I kind of wanted to do the different colors all the way through and see what happens. Now I don't know if I'm going to how exactly I'm doing this. Yet I was thinking about just taking it and gluing it like this all the way around. I don't know. I'm going to do what I tell my kids to do sometimes. Just rip it. Rip pieces randomly with all of them and we'll make it like a rainbow lace type thing. I love her papers. They're so gorgeous. Some of them are brighter than others, but I like it. Either way. And they're all different colors. Basically every color is a rainbow. And yeah, some of them are going to be larger than others and everything else. And that's okay. With what I'm making right now, I'm not going to be necessarily particular on how they look. Just because... should I? This one I started running out of ink with. But again, I just figure it's going to give off a different look doing this. Last one. I really like this one. It's white. We, I've been having the girls learn how to decoupage and stuff with different things lately, and they've been having just a joy doing that. So, what we do is we take the piece. And we glue it. And 
And then we find a spot like this and I just glue it down. <coughs> and at the moment I go for corners, all kinds of stuff, just randomly select different places to stick it. I don't necessarily need to do it this way, but I like it doing it this way. I think it, again, this is the way I taught my kids how to do it. Just take glue stick and glue it down. doesn't necessarily have to be perfect. Honestly, I get confused between Amazon boxes if I don't do something like this. And again, I just keep on turning it, adding pieces where I think they'd be cool or look good. All right, now I'm going to take these two out and just set them aside for right now and go on with using some of these other pieces. And don't worry, in the end I will be taking, I will show you the next step when I get there. And some may have more pieces than others, too. This one. And this is what I got so far. I may end up using all the pieces, I don't know yet. We'll see when we get there. But again, it's just trying to add a little bit of interest to something that didn't have interest before. <coughs>
There we go. And again, uh, it'll be decoupaged with regular glue soon enough, so the glue stick is just there to hold it until I'm able to decoupage it. But this side, this side, this side, and this side. <clears throat> so far, anyways. But I will show more when I get farther along at this point. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. All right. So now that I got the box decoupaged all the way around, almost didn't realize that that piece wasn't filled. For some reason, that spot just did not come across as a spot. <laughs> so, as I'm finishing up the initial decoupage of the box, there we go. Now everything's decoupage on the outside for the most part. I mean, I didn't do the best job in the world, but I did enough where you're not going to see a bunch of brown on the outside. I am now going to take my Elmer's glue. And just wipe across it. This is my way of Mod Podging. I know a lot of people like using actual Mod Podge. I get that. But Elmer's glue is a little bit cheaper on my end than buying a thing of Mod Podge constantly. So. I personally just use Elmer's glue to hold some of this paper down that may be having a rough time staying down. And I use my finger tool when it comes down to doing this. I think it's awesome, that feeling of getting the paper down. And you know it's down and you're not like freaking out that, hey, you might be doing something wrong or not being able to do something or whatever. It, the situation may be. And it glues fast, so I don't have to worry about that being an issue, it not gluing fast enough. <coughs> Just saying. It just makes it all look snazzy. And again, it's just that protective layer just so you know it ain't going to fall apart any minute because you use glue stick to stick it on. I mean, it's my way of cheapening it. So I can get whatever I need done. But at the same time, do what I need to do.
left side. And again, it's just nice and easy to go across any sticking out papers to be able to just wipe a little glue on and whisk it across. And I do the same to the pieces that are inside. Like, just to make sure it stays where we need it to stay. And voila! A cheap way of making a quick decoupage box for whatever items you may want to use. Now, you can decorate it more, you can get more in depth with it. This is just a basic way of doing it. I needed something basic and quick for today, so... And I think I'm just going to add this video to the last video and just make it all one video. But, again, I just wanted to make a quick and easy thing for some supplies. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!